Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In OneNote, you can apply formatting to the text you add to your pages. In order to apply formatting to text within a note, you must first click into the text within the container on the page and then select the text to which you want to apply text formatting. So for example, we have this note container right here. Let's say we want to apply some formatting to that text. We'll go ahead and click into the container and then click and drag to highlight that text. Once you have your selection made, you can click the buttons that are available in the basic text group in the home tab in the ribbon to apply font formatting. We'll go ahead and click the home tab in the ribbon and we'll look over here in our basic text group. Now note that you can hold your mouse pointer over any of the buttons that are shown and a small screen tip will appear that shows the name and function of each button. Now notice that some buttons shown such as font color over here have a small drop-down arrow that will allow you to select a choice from a drop-down menu that appears when you click on it. Other buttons, such as bold, italic, and underline over here, are simply toggle buttons that allow you to either apply or remove the formatting specified by the button. Also notice the clear formatting button. You'll see that in the upper right corner of the group here which removes all text formatting from any selected text, returning selected text to plain text within a text-containing shape. Alternately, if you select text and hover your mouse pointer up and to the right of the container, a mini toolbar will appear. Let's go ahead and do that if we highlight this, you'll see then the mini toolbar that will appear. If you're using a version prior to 2013, it might appear a little dimmed out and you can just move your mouse pointer up and to the right to have it appear solid like we see here in this one. You can then use the formatting buttons in the mini toolbar to apply many common font formatting options. Now, in addition to font formatting, you can also apply paragraph formatting to selected text by clicking the buttons that are available within the basic text group on the home tab within the ribbon as well. Here you'll find bullets and numbering, paragraph alignment, and indenting options just to the right of the buttons that we just looked at. So we have paragraph alignment here, we also have numbering as well as bullets and so forth that we'll be looking at in the upcoming lessons. You can also apply predefined styles to selected text. These styles allow you to create a consistent appearance in the type of text that appears within your notebook pages, such as title text and heading text. To apply a style to a selected text, click the Styles drop-down button in the Styles group on the Home tab in the ribbon, and then select the desired text style to apply from the drop-down menu. Here's the styles group. You can use the arrows to scroll down. You can use the more button here to display them all. And then you would just click on one of those to apply it. You'll see that it's increased our text size, so we can just click and drag to increase our container. And now we've applied the style to the text in that container. And that's the basics of text formatting. In the next few lessons, we'll be looking at bullets and numbering and how to apply those to our text. We'll also be looking at how to check spelling and also setting the default proofing options. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.